biddies what's up what's up what is up so we back you know it's actually been a minute but we're back if you're new here make sure you like you comment and you subscribe um and today as you can see i got my bonnet um looking crazy nah but it's a hair video you doing a little hair video i'm going to be doing some small knotless braids on myself so like a little DIY um small knotless braids and we just gonna get started so let me show you what I, let me show you what I'm using first okay so I have my like um like parting edge brush comb to comb my hair I'm gonna use this to part I really like using this to part my hair so this is what I'm using to part oh my goodness please Y'all, um, my nails look terrible. I don't chew on my nails or nothing like that. Um, they're normally actually pretty long. I don't get tips or nothing, but I decided to go to a new um, nail salon. And um, all my nails just broke. And I'm so sad about it, but whatever. So I'm just taking a little break, you know, let them grow in. Then I'll get back to my dip. But yeah, so then I have my little edge brush I'm going to use for my edges once I'm done. And then a comb just to comb my hair. Y'all, this edge control right here. Okay, it's a little greasy, my bad. But this edge control right here, can you see it? Edge effect. I love it. I love it. And so I'm actually upset, bro. It holds my hair so well. And this is only the, like, the strong cold. I mean... This is the whole level of three. Like, this is only three. So next time I'm gonna get five. I honestly don't know. I don't know why I didn't look at that. Like, I really don't know why I didn't pay attention to that. I was just looking at the front and this one has like argan oil, olive oil, and black castor oil. So I decided to get this one. Like, see, like I literally was just reading that part. So that's why I got it. <laughs> but it holds really good. So I'm like, yes, I can't wait to get the five because my hair is very nappy, like, very coarse. Like, it really, it takes a lot to hold it down. So, this stuff is good. Then I have my Shiny Jam. Then I have my mousse. I like this mousse. So, this is the mousse I use. And then, oh, I'm at the, I need this to part the back of my head. But it broke. So, because you got to hang it on the wall like so. Like, you get, like, your little pin thing or whatever and hang it on the wall. And it fell when I was taking it off the wall for whatever reason. I don't remember why it fell. I'm always dropping stuff. Like, I'm just so clumsy. So, yeah, it broke. But, you know, we're going to make do. Luckily, it's double-sided and the other side didn't break. So, But the only thing is the other side is so zoomed in. I don't know. I'm going to make it work, though. I'll find a way to make it work. And I'll just... I'll have to order me an, a new one. Because I, I actually got this from the beauty supply. But I'm just going to order me one. And then I also have... Lastly, this braiding rack. I'm going to use this. I mean, I call it a braiding rack. Because I use it for braids. But I think it's actually like... A sewing rack. Or like something for the threads. I don't know. But I call it braiding rack. And then for the hair I'm using, I have the Easy Braid. Um, it's 36 inch color 1B. This pack is just um some leftover hair from leftover hair I have from last time I did my hair. So I'm just gonna use this. And then before I open the new packs. So yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair. I'm going to do that off camera because um, I'm going to use my like bathroom mirror. I mean, I could use the one in here, but I don't know. How, I really don't have nowhere to hang like this mirror up at. So I'm going to have to go part my hair in the bathroom and I'll be back. After I'm done parting, we will prep the um, braiding hair put it on the rack and then we just gonna get started so yeah i'll be back okay, hey guys so we back i'm dead i look so crazy but my hair is now parted you can see the back you can see the back um so i have my braiding hair 
which is the Easy Braid 36 inch color 1B. Um, I'm gonna use four to five packs of this. I don't know, it just depends. We'll see. We'll see, but yeah. So basically, I'm just gonna um, start parting my hair and filling up this rack so that way I can begin actually braiding my hair. And so all the sizes are gonna be like this. And so I don't know, I, I've never like um, prepped my hair and been able to get the same exact size for every single piece. I mean, just being realistic, come on now, that's like, I don't know. I'm just realistic. I ain't never got that. So, you know, if you can do that, you know, that's great. No. Kudos to you. I mean, cheers to you. However you want to put it, whatever you want to say. But yeah, so I'm just ah, going in. So this this how my rack look. I'm just literally just gonna fill this rack up. Literally. So I be laughing at myself because I be like, bro, like, you so stupid sometimes. I literally laugh at myself. I know I'm crazy. Mm. Wow, the last piece actually split into two even pieces. Oh my goodness. So that was just, I was just finishing that other pack. Um, let me put this down there. It keeps falling on my lap. I'm just, I was just finishing that up that other pack and what I had. I don't like using, like I always do that. If I have leftover hair, like, cause I always like, I braid with the same hair, the same color, black, like, I don't know. I'm, it's hard for me to get into colors. Like it be looking so cute on other people, but I don't know. I've only literally only did color. I did like some burgundy color braids once. Those were cute. They were pretty cute. They weren't bad. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably I think if if I was to like do, I always wanted to try gray. Like I've always wanted to do gray hair. I might do that this year for my birthday. Cause I've been wanting to do like some bone straight, thirty inch gray bundles like or wigs be so dope we might do that but my birthday a whole this one looks a little too big my birthday a whole six months away i mean five months away because it's in december so i still still got a lot of time to decide what i want to do with my hair here we have our full rack of hair let me see how much I can get done. I'm thinking maybe like three rows. I don't know, but we're gonna see what we can get done. Oh, so we just about to get started, really. Hey, my bad y'all, I've been in that mirror in the bathroom cause like I'm, cause I'm doing the back of my head. So basically, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So what I'm doing is going in with my little edge effect. 
right? Put it on top like so, right? And then you're gonna mold it down. You do the same exact thing for um, under. Instead, you're gonna mold it up. And then you're gonna section um, windows. Windows, guys, windows, windows, windows. So I'm gonna go party my windows and I'll be right back. Yo, this hair, okay, cause I had to show off for you. Okay, we're about like halfway done. I'm gonna just have one more to do and then I'm gonna be on my halfway mark.
top part new and I think I did this braid um it's gonna be time for dinner <laughs> girl hungry again so we are gonna take another break I've been doing this for what six hours I've been braiding so I think it's gonna take me like one or two more two more hours like including like you know cleaning up putting in water and all of that i would say probably like two two to three more hours so in total this hairstyle probably takes like eight hours to do on your own head i mean which isn't bad i mean it's braids box braids and they're pretty long 36 inches so yeah but we definitely gonna take a break after this I have a few stuff I need to do on top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And then, I don't know, it might be morning time when I get back to this, we'll see. Girl, I got a headache, I got a hurt of head. Mm. You know what, the thing is I've been knowing I wanted to do I've been knowing what I wanted to do with my hair since Sunday and I procrastinated. I managed to like procrastinate all the way. No, right? Yeah, it was Sunday cause I wore, no, it was Monday. No, I knew what I wanted to do my hair since Sunday and I was supposed to go like, you know, get everything I needed for it on Monday and then take down my hair that I had. Anyways, more of the story is, moral of the story is, basically, I would have had more time to finish my hair, but I procrastinated so much that now it's kind of like do or die. Unfortunately. <sighs> so, yeah. I think for dinner, it's going to be... I want a baked potato. Have I ever had a sweet baked potato? It's actually really good. That's what I'm gonna have for dinner. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm, I'm gonna get like that little neck thing. to break all the way down like I like to go as far as I can like really really be like two strands left I'm still trying to break it because I feel like it makes it look better you know when braids like look like they coming out all right so this is what we have. And yeah, so really, it's time for dinner and until next time. Okay, we back. We about to finish these braids, y'all. I did not make it after dinner. I went to bed, so. But... You know, it's only two more rows left, like six more braids. So we're going to get it done really quick and, and clean up. And yeah, like this is what we have. I think it looks so good. I came such a long way with my small, well, not this braids. I'm so proud. But yeah, so basically I'm just about to get my enough hair ready for six braids because literally that's all I have. Oh, uh, 
someday i just tried to bust the note out i was really finna sing but i rethought thought about it that's the size they're all gonna be the same size i like this in case you forgot watch me have more than six i'm pretty sure it's six though but you know when you be thinking it's the last one but it ain't the last one make sure i ain't got no i'm dead All right, so I have my hair ties. I'm just gonna put it in like a couple of sections so that way I can do it by sections. You know what I did when I, um, what's it called? Bro, I really only needed three pieces. I'm gonna be working on one, right? We can start with this back here. Oh, okay. Stuff going on in there. It's just the water. <laughs> Let me scoot up because I really can't see. I'm using this little mirror down here. And I'm just gonna get rid of like the frizziness. So not all the birds are like this. I wish I would have, like they're not all that frizzy. Some of them like I'm so yeah, I'm just gonna work on, get the ones that are do look that frizzy. Gonna. Chomp, chomp. I, this, I, this is literally my least favorite part. Like when it comes to doing braids, I, I hate this part. Like it's just so, I just don't like it. So, like, sometimes I do my own hair. I literally will skip that part because it's my hair. Like, I really just whatever. Like, it looks good as long as it looks good. Then, also, I thought about it. You know what? That's probably why my braids. When I do my own braids, I'll be taking them down literally, like, within, like, two weeks. 
So I'm like, maybe if I actually did this part when I did my hair, <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, if you in Dallas, Texas and you wanna book, you know, follow on the gram and DM to book your appointment. Wig applications, box braids, cornrows, those things. Yeah, if you want, just um, follow me on Instagram. And DM to book. And it's mostly at the end that's all frizzy like the top is good and then it's like when she start getting their hair it gets frizzy and all ugly so yeah that's really what we cleaning up right that's the point of all right i'm done with the chomping so I think my water my water is hot not i think it's hot so we're just gonna dip it and then for the dipping part i really i can't do it on the camera but really all i'm doing is boiling some hot water and then once it's hot you're gonna take sections of your hair and you're going to dip your ends and that's literally all i'm about to do i do have to do that off camera because um I have to do it off camera, so I'll be back. All right, y'all, and that is really the end. This is what we ended up with. It looks so good. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Oh, and if you want like um like an in-depth tutorial like on each step and everything like that, comment below. I can make a video on that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.